be told, everybody loves a Bricklayer 500. So much fun to see these guys get a chance to go to Vegas, compete against the best in the world and win that F-250. So one of the most exciting things we do. It's rare that we have something else going on that's almost as exciting. And this is one of those things. This is called the Spec Mix Junior Bricklayer. So this is basically a scaled down version of what's going on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to uh, Fred right here. He's the instructor of a few of these kids. We'd like to know a little bit about what he does and these kids in general, right? We wanna find out who they are, that kind of thing. So Fred, please introduce yourself to the people at home. Yes, my name is Fred Mason. I'm the Mason instructor here at Columbus Korean College Academy. Uh, I'm obviously aptly named Fred Mason. Hey, pick the right industry. I'll give him that. Yep. All right, so Fred, let's uh, well, tell me a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm, I'll get them the Mason instructor. I have like 27 kids in three classes. I teach a high school class. Oh, wow. And, and so uh, we just teach them the basics of Mason right on up to apprenticeship. That is incredible. So the 27 kids, I mean, that's yeah. incredible that that many people are interested in the first place. Yeah. Do you, how many do you think you retain that actually going to the industry? Uh, 5%, 10%? Oh, I'll say about two, maybe three every year. Oh, wow. Yeah. So every year they keep pumping fresh blood and a lot of talent in there, especially with having the basics going down. Yeah. Well, come tell us about Caitlin, because that's who we have in stall number one. Well, Caitlin, this is our, this is our second year in the program, and, and uh, she only, uh, uh, only knew about this contest three weeks ago. We just had to practice her up, and she's very, very new at this. And so I'm, I'm pretty sure she's pretty nervous right now, but she's going on the track. That's good. That's fine. Today is just about getting the nerves out of the way, and then we'll get in the crowd, we'll get her tuned up, and, and she'll uh, do really, really good in the next time. Okay, now. so. Like he was just saying, he mentioned she didn't even know about this competition the last couple of weeks. So the fact that she is this brand new at Brick Lane, she looks incredibly smooth, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Well, she's been in the program, but not to the speed line program like what she's doing now. For sure. But uh, she listens very well, she's uh, very smart, and she just does a great job, and she's working really hard. Oh yeah, looks like she even knows to adjust these brick when she didn't land perfect. There's right. a lot of little things in yes. nature that you may not have even practiced yet, so right. really cool to see somebody like that. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, her tender, is he also in the program? Yes. Yeah. Right, so her tender's in the program as well. Is that a busy, busy of the girl? That's right, Mr. Israel, and it looks like he is absolutely hustling to make oh, sure yeah. she's in good shape. Oh, yeah, this is his third year. He's, he's, good, he's a very good block mason, and, uh, but he's a very good tender as well. Oh, so, absolutely. Uh, he's, he's really focused on what he's doing, and we'll keep the Caitlin going. Yep. Uh, you like to see her furrowing that mud back out, really giving herself an opportunity to lay some good straight brick. Uh, Fred, you said that she, you think she's going to be able to compete again next year. She must be fairly young, then, yes. Yeah, she's a sophomore. Sophomore, sophomore. absolutely incredible. So that probably puts her around 16 years old. That is absolutely incredible to have somebody, like you said, kind of nerves to steal at this exact moment. Yeah. I Israel, is he about out of the program? You said three years for him, right? Yeah, he got one more year in the program. Very, very cool. Well, let's skip on over here. Okay. I want to make sure I say this right. Annie Yelly, yes? Annie Yelly, Annie Yelly, right behind us. I want to make sure I got that right. Another one that was incredibly smooth. That's been in the program long. It took a bit to the program. No surprise there. Fourth year in the program. And it shows. You need to tell exactly what's going on. Like you said, nerves alone over there has got to be killing Katie, right? But look, she does not look shook at all. Right? She, she, she's really doing it. And we're actually mounting all of her cover. And she's keeping them all just right. She's keeping them all just right. And so on. And we want them to do it right now. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm really happy. Very impressive. Now, are they able to lay on both sides of the wall or they have to lay overhand? You know, it's just this They think they lay on both sides of the wall. We haven't started practicing that yet. That's something we may have to start looking into, especially if we're going to lose the devil's time around here. You know, if they want to get into the industry and come to a competition like this, it's very important. But truth be told, on the outside world, we just don't see it that often. Right. So, really good to get these faces back. Right. And then her tender, Miss so it's let me fairly new in this program, but you can the sword made the program. Oh well, certainly she's got the hustle. Oh, you know, we everybody talks about millennials on the internet. It's one of the big jokes about how lazy they are. But I'll be honest with you, I am watching some kids really hustle today. Absolutely. Okay. Fred, we're going to keep moving through these stalls. Let me tell you something. I cannot tell you how happy we are to have you guys a part of this show anyway. But even more importantly in this show, what you do for this industry. This workforce development is so important for us. We know our average age of the Masons are going around 50 years yeah. old in Tennessee alone. Yeah. I imagine it's very similar yeah. around the country. So really important to get these young guys into it. You know? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Everyone, Mr. Fred Mason.
We're gonna sneak back over here. I'm gonna see if we can catch, uh, see if we can catch Fred Campbell around here. We're gonna tighten in over here. David Hernandez, this is stall number two. This is actually David, it's not his first time. In fact, he actually competed in Johnson City this year. He did us a favor coming out here, filling a spot. David actually laid the most brick in that last competition, but he got dinged on quite a few things. So right now, it looks like he slowed down a touch from his last performance, but what he's doing is really making sure the quality's there. He knows he's got the skill. He just wants to make sure that every one of these bricks is gonna come out okay. You can tell this is obviously not his first time. Look at that trial manipulation. He was able to spread that much very, very easily. Probably use a little bit more moisture in the mud, but if anybody knows it, it's his father. You know why? His father is actually already going to Vegas. So really cool story for a professional like uh, his father to come out here and sit for him. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes left for the Junior Brickwear 500. Ten minutes left. Okay, so right with us, right, right with us, we have uh, Mr. Fred Campbell. Fred is actually a huge name in the industry, not just with the quality of the work he does on the job sites, but in our show specifically, the Bricklayer 500, three-time world champion. So really, really cool to have him here and a part of this show. Fred, tell us a little bit about these kids. Actually, before you do that, why don't you tell us about the program you guys are putting on together? Okay, we, uh, every, every Thursday night in my shop, we have classes. I invite guys, I mean, no age limit. Sure. And we have a, from six to nine every Thursday night, we actually do make up mud and lay brick. And I brought them from 14 to 30. Oh, wow. Yeah, come to the class. Ages from 13 to 40, kids that want a future, adults that want a future, a way to make money. Really, really cool idea. In fact, it's something that's amazing that you're giving back like that. I mean, so many guys, all they care about is trying to make that money, which is very important. You gotta feed your family. That being said, when you're willing to give back, we love seeing that. Yeah. Tell us about uh, uh, David. I say David. Okay. Uh, he, he's 16, uh, 16 years old. His dad's laboring for him, and his dad's worked for me for 21 years, and he started out with me as a helper. Oh, wow. Really, really cool. Yeah. At 16 years old, he looks like he absolutely has a future. No telling what he's going to want to do when he gets out of school. But I tell you what, as smooth as he is, he absolutely has a future. Oh, he, wants, he wants to be a brick maker. Right? Yep. He's very, very smart. So he don't, he's going to change his mind about going to college and he wants to be a brick maker. You know, we talk a lot about it. We think college is great. Edu getting educated in general is great. But you know, these guys can make a fantastic living and do something that they're really proud of. And we want to support them in anything they do something like that, especially in this industry, because it's less even about the work, it's the craftsmanship. There's nothing more beautiful than brick to be on any job. So really, really cool to see the art. And if, you're, if you do a good job, you'll always stay busy and you'll make good money. That's exactly right. You really do control your own future. Yes, sir. Let's go take a look over here. He's got some more guys in his class. Okay. Well, this guy, he just came. He just came from New York. My family relocated down here. Right? And he's been coming to the class for about four weeks. Okay, so. Tyler here, he's saying, is brand new. Four weeks in, and he got a cool opportunity to get to come down here and play around in the mud. Exactly. Yeah. He loves it. Yeah. Okay, so New York's a long, long way away. Glad to have him here, but he's not the only familiar face. Actually, Mr. Logan Lee, we've seen before. Yeah. 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 Now, did Logan, did he tend or did he compete in Johnson City just for uh, Great Tennessee just a few weeks ago? Yeah, he finished second. Oh, okay. I tell you what, if you're gonna have somebody tend in for you, it might as well be the second place winner from the competition just a few weeks ago. Yeah. So really cool these guys are working together. Uh, now, when these guys are in your class, are they building specific projects or are you just letting them play around with like, no, we actually, I started them out on Rail Rock 15. Uh, just laying bricks to a home. And then as they get better, No better feeling than finishing the job. The work is done. 
right? Something like this is gonna get torn down. Not, there's no real accomplishment to them, I'm sure. Exactly. When you build a project like that and you're actually able to sell the quality work you're putting out, that tells a lot about the instructor to be able to use a project like that. It's really cool. Okay, one time real quick. Mr. Fred Campbell, thank you so much again, not just for what you do here in this uh, Spec Mix Bricklayer, bringing guys out, helping us out, but for what you're doing for the industry and these young guys. Well, thank you guys. Yes. Yeah, you're the one to make that happen. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you again, Mr. Fred. Thank you. We're going to tighten back up over here on Miss Caitlin in stall number one. That's the first place we started. Again, Caitlin is only about four weeks into this program. It is absolutely amazing that she has any clue what she's doing to begin with, but wow, look at this smooth, smooth motion. Now she has laid a little bit of brick over the years, but the most of the masonry trade is not just in the laying, it's the knowledge around it. So her only having four weeks to try to figure out how to lay quickly, very impressive at the speed she's moving. I tell you what, we joked about the young kids, but you know you got a young one when they still got their cell phone in their pocket while they're laying all this brick. So very impressive. I guarantee you she is tweeting something from the backside right now as we speak. Very, very impressive. But yes, again, her technique on the way the mud comes off the trowel, that's something a lot of grown men that have never touched a trowel could ever do. So very, very impressive uh, trowel manipulation. Again, we're watching the furrowing, making sure everything gets wide out, and that's really helping her. Like on this return brick, it laid perfectly flat. If that mud's not furrowed out and it's not thick enough, that thing's gonna wanna tilt on her very, very quickly. You can see where that happens on a brick like this, right? When you lose a certain amount of mud on the top, it makes that. All right, Annie Yelly, let's see her. Actually, while we're right here, let's see if we can get a time. Uh, our time man is over here. All right, let's tighten up on Annie Yelly and see how she's doing. Now again, she is a fourth year, so she certainly has some experience in the program. One of those difficult things, it looks like she's gonna have to shift the brick a little bit if she wants to tighten that joint up. She's taking her time, she's making sure she likes what she sees. That's probably a really good decision in this competition, because a lot of the kids out here, they might be able to throw a lot of brick into the wall, but absolutely killing them on how crooked they are. They're gonna get dinged all to pieces when the judging comes around. But it's her taking her time, you can tell that's something that uh, she knows what she's doing. We're not gonna forget about Leslie right behind her. Leslie has not slowed down this entire time. This entire competition is only 20 minutes. So this kind of hustle, that's what we really like to see. You gotta pick it up, Andy, you gotta pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, one, so two, you three. can hear Fred Mason one, two, right behind her, her one, two, instructor. Three. He is one, making two, sure she knows it's time to get moving, okay? There's one, only two, about three minutes, minutes left. One, two, okay? three. Very, very impressive. So she's one, trying two, to balance if she wants to make sure that's a lot of quality or a lot of speed. One, two, three. Looks like Fred's looking at the wall. He sees the qualities there, one, two, and he three. really wants her to try to get some brick in that wall. One, two, three. One, two, three. Around the corner. Come back Come over to David. Very nice looking wall. Stall number two, Mr. David Hernandez. As you can see, he is very comfortable moving these lines. Again, his father is a fantastic mason in the East Tennessee area. So no surprise, he's as comfortable as he is. He just saw there, he spread all the way to the end. He only had about a brick left that he needed to spread. He was able to put just a little bit of mud on the edge of that trowel and flick it right into place. Again, that's another trowel manipulation technique that most people do not master, especially at 16 years old. himself, Tyler Johnson. Real good job so far, especially for having zero experience coming in here. He literally laid his first brick within the last four weeks, so really cool that he's able to get this many brick in the wall. We're seeing a lot of tips and tilts. The majority of that is how soft his hand placement is, and more importantly, how much mud he's getting on the wall. 
So you can see he got a little bit thin on the mud on the bricks he just laid on the left hand side. He's going to make it rock forward and to the left. But as he gets to this furrowed section, looks like it's going a lot smoother. He's not taking the time to take his trowel. He should probably take a moment and tap each one of these bricks to make sure they level out flat with his hand. But again, that's something that comes with experience. I have a feeling he's going to know. these young kids do it. The last 10 seconds, let's see how nervous she gets. Eight, seven, six, five. She's taking her time, making sure she's going. Let's see if she's getting one more in two seconds. One second. Oh, wow. Wow. I cannot believe she was able to get those two brick in within two and a half seconds. Really cool. Shaver right here. Uh, Ryan, for the people at home especially, can you tell us a little bit about you and what you do? Well, I, I work for the Masonry Association out of North Carolina, North Carolina Masonry Contractors, and we, we have a pretty good workforce development program established. Uh, we have a little over 90 programs statewide that uh, we work with our students in the high school, community college level. We have pre-apprentice programs, apprentice programs. Um, when it comes to workforce development, all of our masonry contractors, all of our instructors are on board and we want to see the youth promoted in our industry and we want to move that nationwide. So if you're a mason sitting at home and you hadn't been to your local high school in the last two weeks, two years, whatever, get up, go to them. They're not going to knock on your door. You've got to get in front of them where they will know where your door's at. So I just want to encourage everybody nationwide, get up and get at it. Let's get the youth involved in our industry. Yeah. That way we move forward. So exactly that sentiment. Specmex loves two things, right? We want the quality of the work everywhere to get better. On top of that, we love the idea of workforce development and bringing the next generation into the industry. Absolutely. So big round of applause. Everybody, big round of applause right here for Mr. Shaver. He came out here and laid our junior stalls. He's been such an asset to us. Uh, real quick on the microphone just so they can hear you. What? Uh, tell me about the mobile, the mobile training facility. You're looking at pulling a trailer, right? Well, we are, uh, we are putting together a mobile training unit to be anywhere we go in the state of North Carolina. This mobile training unit is going to have anything in it needed to train at a school, a community college, at a fair, anything we're at. So we're excited to be putting this together. Um, we also have this mixer called a workhorse that's been uh, donated. So uh, do you know anything about that? I know all about it. <laughs> A little bit too much work for me, but I'm glad you guys won. I'm glad we're able to, uh, like you said, when you're able to get mobile and reach more kids, we love the sound of that. So thank you so much for what you do. Thank you to Fred Campbell, to Fred Mason, these guys bringing these youth out here. It's really, really fun for this generation, my generation and up. It is fun to see the next generation coming in. So thank you, young ones, for coming in. I'm excited to announce you guys a winner. I'm going to hand this microphone over to Mr. Ryan Coyne so we can find out two things. Who our best junior is and who is headed to Las Vegas, Nevada for the Bricklayer 500 and an opportunity to win that F-250, Mr. Coyne. Thank you, Will Scott. All right, everybody, I know it was a long time. I do apologize, but we wanted to make sure we have the right winner going off to the world of concrete to fight for the championship, who the best bricklayer is going to be, and have those rights to the Ford F-250. So I want to make, especially, make a special thanks to everybody who came out here watching all their Mason tenders and keeping the industry strong. And I'd like to announce our third place Junior Bricklayer 500 winner. In third place, with an adjusted brick count of 103 brick from Whiteville. We got Kaylin Flora and Israel. Israel, yeah! Kaylin Israel. Hey, why don't y'all come up on stage real quick, Kaylin? Kaylin, why don't y'all go ahead and head up on stage? Let's get a picture of it. Come you. on up. Third place winner is going to receive $100 in cash. Get that thing that Come fell off. Come on up. What's that? Adam's son? No. Congratulations. Let's give a big round of applause. Come on up here in the center. Come on up here in the center. Can that sign so I can get a picture of it? Back right down here. Big cheesy cheese brand. One, two, three. Like you mean it, please. One, two, three.
Great job, Kayla. Great job, guys. Great job, Israel. Great job. Our second place, with an adjusted brick count of 145, was in uh, second place, 145 bricks, stole number two, David Hernandez and Manuel Hernandez from Greenville, Tennessee. For the cash prize, $150. David Manuel, congratulations. Great job, God. Great job. Why don't you come on desk up here in the center? Oh, here you go. One, two, three. Perfect, guys. All right, well congratulations. Done. Give me a round of applause. Our first place winner is going to win a $200 cash prize and they're going to stick around a few minutes after the competition where they're going to get a flat screen TV that I have locked up in the sales office. And I do pronounce if I get your name wrong. It's first place, which is an adjusted brick count of 182 brick, was located in stall number five, Annalise Bianco and Leslie McEnado. McEnado. Congratulations, $200 cash prize. And you're going to get yourself a flat screen TV. And you can just stick around after yes, the show and see because I got a flat screen TV actually for both of you. Okay? Come on forward. Come on forward. Come on forward. The first place winner gets the bigger one, the second place gets the smaller one, okay? Okay. One, two. Dang it, Fred! <laughs> <laughs> Fred, why don't you come on up and let the instructor yeah, Fred hey, come hey, on up? Fred, hang on real quick. Let me take one and then go up there. I love that. That's All like right. Hold on one minute, ladies. Ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Give him one more. Our set. new masonry leaders and owners one day are right here standing on the stage. I hope to be selling you in another 20 years when I'm 67. Yeah. <laughs> Smile. I love it, guys. Just well, remember, done. just remember when I knock on your door to sell you spec mix, you go by. Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations. And we'll get another picture here with Ryan Shaver. <laughs> 